Um, but here, here, look at what he's saying here. He, he's referring to the justice system. So he talks about this vicarious redemption being, and that we Christians supposedly reference our justice system. Point being, though, is where do we get our justice system from? We get our justice system from God. That's the whole point. That's precisely why I'm asking why it is that our justice system differs from God's. Assuming that the justice system comes from God, they ought not differ. Why is it that most people, even Christians, would not be okay with some innocent person taking Charles Manson's place in prison if God says that vicarious redemption is just? I happen to know this because I happen to, to go through this with somebody who was going to, to prison. Uh, he was made an offer. Uh, so the rules are that uh, I offered to do his jail time for him. In that case, here are the rules. One, I had to be innocent of the crime. Two, I have to be in a right state of mind. Okay, I understand some are questioning whether I'm ever in a right state of mind. Gotcha. But the point being is you have to understand both what the consequences of what you're doing and be in a state where you're, you're not uh, doing this because – uh, your life is about to end and you know you you have to have a reason for for doing it that is uh, accepted by two different people the judge and the person that's consequence you're paying uh, in the case where I was uh, it was accepted by the judge it was not accepted by the individual so he had the he had the choice of paying his jail time or I pay his jail time that is allowed in the justice system where the fuck is this allowed? I call bullshit on this. I tried to find some precedent for a law or judge allowing this and I couldn't. Not in a democratic country anyway. Everything I was able to find that mentions voluntarily serving someone else's sentence says you are not legally allowed to do so. But how could this guy say Stalin is wrong? What, what, what makes Stalin wrong? What does this guy have to appeal to to say Stalin is wrong. I don't know what Christians mean when they talk about things being wrong in some kind of cosmic sense. All I know is that my conscience won't allow me to be accepting of Stalin's behavior. I won't accept it if there's no God. I won't accept it if there's a God that says Stalin was wrong. And I won't even accept it if there's a God who says that Stalin was right. My conscience simply won't allow me to whether a God exists or not, so I don't see how the existence of a God is relevant. He has to appeal to God. I don't even know what you mean by that. You seem to believe that what Stalin did was wrong because God says so, or because it's consistent with God's nature. I don't have the first fucking clue how that follows logically. That's the reality. He's appealing to God's justice to say that Stalin is wrong. <laughs> That's the irony of it. So he, he in, in here you end up seeing that he is actually, in his own argument, refuting his own argument. Because he wants to say Stalin is wrong and it wouldn't be just to let Stalin off. But he has no standard of justice because any standard of justice that he comes up with can only be a relative standard of justice and Stalin would be right by his own, by that standard. My standard of justice is my conscience. Since there's no conceivable scenario under which my conscience would assent to Stalinism, my conscience's rejection of Stalinism is absolute, not relative.